If Horizon Zero Dawn got a PS5 performance patch, would I play it? Um, so here's what I would do. I don't really care about a PS5 performance patch for Horizon. I would just play the PC version, you know? I know the PC version of Horizon when it came out didn't have the smoothest launch. It was a little rough, um, but I think that's gotten ironed out. So if anything, I would just fire up the PC version of Horizon uh, Zero Dawn. At least give it a shot, like before this comes out. Wait till like the release date of this is announced and then give it some time before and just try it, right? Oh God, here we go. This is the Sony's big headliner next generation Breath of the Wild game. Like, this is probably Sony's biggest system seller. Demon Souls was sort of a, Demon Souls is sort of a, um, a niche game in many ways, but it looks great. This game is Sony's like front and center system seller next to like a God of War. So I'm pretty curious how they're going to be approaching all this. Oh, God. Welcome back to the stage of history. Intimidated? Slightly excited. It feels like it's E3 and I'm very happy. It feels like E3 actually exists. State of Horizon. I played Hi, very little of the first. My name first. is Matthijs de Jonge. I'm the game director on Horizon Forbidden West. Last year, we revealed our ambitious new project, and since then, the team has continued... Refreshing chat. Game. We are very excited and honored to give you an update. There is an audio desync. And in the countdown video leading up to this moment, you have already seen glimpses of the Forbidden West, but now we have something truly special for you. Almost 14 minutes... Yeah, is this on Twitch as well? On PlayStation 5. Is there a Twitch version? Gameplay captured there we on go. PlayStation 5. They refresh the audio. You don't have to wait any longer. Thank you, right producers and editors. Thank you. Here we go. Easy, easy. It's okay. You're safe now. Right here. Dynamic, dynamic jug water drinking. Wait, what happened? Where's Aaron? Ambush. Ruins are crawling with raiders. They hit our camp hard. We ran and they chased us down. Aaron was away from camp. Scouting. I bet he's still out there. What was that? Uh, Raiders got machines on their side. Claw Striders. <laughs> you should go after Aaron. If they find him before you do, who knows what they'll do to him. I don't agree with this jug water drinking don't man. To. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Give me this goddamn water. He keeps, he keeps trying to take it back. It's distracting, okay? <laughs> Put the water down. He's like, just give me the fucking cup. Man's thirsty. What are raiders doing? All right, streams? cinematics, 30 FPS. Okay. Yeah, stream is in 30 FPS. I think all state of plays are actually in 30 FPS. Cinematic frame rate. It looks quite good, though. This is a very good looking game. Oh. Who are these feathery fuckers? This dude's got chainsaws for a bottom jaw. You are like 
not hidden <laughs> at all. Better be careful. There might be more. <laughs> you are like not hidden, and you're like in plain sight. I need to get clear. Damn. They have monster roars. That was close. This looks pretty crazy. Like, I feel like I'm looking at the, a kill zone trailer from circa like 2006 or something like that. This looks pretty crazy. Maybe I can lose him in here. Okay, the music's fantastic. Robots can't go in water. Never mind. Wow. Simmons is in heaven right now. Simmons is sitting here in absolute beach bliss. This is really cool looking. Oh, don't mind me. But you're talking underwater. She's got to be wearing a mask or something, right? <laughs> Those schools of fish. Damn, is this Call of Duty Ghosts? Fish react to you. Jeez, dude, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. This is just going to be a game that's going to be a lot like Ghost of Tsushima, or you're just going to look at the world all the time. It's going to sit and slow down and just look at everything. I have friends, okay? I'm not just the ones you slaughtered. Oh, that's the guy from the first game. When they come looking for me, there's going to be trouble. Trouble. They have a robot woolly mammoth? Oh, good. <laughs> you guys wouldn't be laughing. I have my hammer. You know, get moving. <laughs> I hope they release a video of it. All, all the little, like, weird frame hitches and stuff. I want to see, like, a high-quality video of this really bad. Yeah, it visually looks crazy, and this is a really crappily compressed, like, YouTube stream. They need to put out, like, a 4K video. Or hopefully talk about, like, frame rate and resolution or something like that. I'd imagine the game will have, like, a 60 FPS mode. Loot the camp. Make it look like bandits were here. Then we'll head for the old bridge and meet up with the others. Will do. Yeah. Got it. This must be Aaron's camp. The Raiders made short work of it. Filthy Osiram. Tastical takedown. Did Aloy just murder that person? I think I might be forgetting uh, what a lot of Horizon 1 is. Does Aloy murder people? Is she a dude raider? I thought she only murdered robots. Oh, she kills. Okay. All right. I just remember very little about that aspect of the first game. Is she like a mass murderer? Yes, yeah, she's a Sony represented mass murderer. Okay, so that's definitely a Sony game. 
Whoa, what, we got fighting game cinematics now? Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. We got like super cinematics, huh? Everybody's just sleeping. They're just knocked out. Got it. Was that her level three? She has an install super? Okay. It's kind of neat. Heading for the old bridge. Maybe I can cut them off. Yeah, better. I remember the melee combat being kind of uninspired. Holy shit! Look at that water. What the hell? Remember the melee combat in the first game not feeling great. And it was mostly just like shooting and different manipulations of things to shoot. Dude, the lighting on the lighting on Aloy looks nuts. The animation transitions on the character also look equally nuts. There's the bridge. Like this might be one of the best integrated characters into a game world in terms of like animation reactions and stuff like that I've seen yet. Oh my god, they gave her... Does she have a glider before? She has to have the Breath of the Wild glider. I gotta be careful. That's new? Yeah, I don't remember, remember that. It looks like San Francisco! Is that the Golden Gate Bridge? Dope! Yeah, the IKs now are like... getting really crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Simmons is at, is at Beach Bliss again. It's happened. It's on the way, Simmons Beach Bliss is kicking in. Yeah, I, I think... I remember the environments in the first Horizon not being nearly as engaging and interesting looking as this. It's mostly running around small deserts and stuff. At least in the beginning. Are we actually gonna get to see this? I thought it was gonna cut off. I was assuming that she was gonna rush at it. Oh shit, your, your dinosaur got fucked up, lady. Oh my God. That was badass. Okay, this is sick as shit. Yeah, this was the stuff that I liked, I liked in that first game was when you fight big ass like T-Rexes and shit. Yeah, this is a system seller if you've ever seen one. This is definitely a system seller. Oh, she's playing Splatoon now. Nice. She's a squid and a kid. <laughs> this is badass, dude. Holy shit. Damn, she got this whole arsenal in her back pocket. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Are we gonna do actual combat instead of uh, pewing this thing? Wow! Wow! Okay, wow! She can jump very high. Wow! Wow! Look at this video game. <laughs> wow! Yeah, this game is blowing my ass with just graphics right now. 100% blowing my ass. Time to finish this. Hey, Lord. <laughs> Glad to see me. Now you bet. <sighs> She's wearing like puke puke armor. I don't I like it. Another one. It's a cooler costume. <laughs> well, this time, I have a present for you. Oh, oh, oh. I found it, Emily. 
Huh? What'd you send me for? Deodorant. Right before the Raiders got me. You did good. Now, let's see where this thing will take us. Gonna go to LA and San Francisco. Already in San Francisco. You always said a storm was coming. Yeah. And it's almost here. You got me. You got me. I want to play it. Real bad. You got me and I want to play it. Are we going to talk about any information? So there you have it. The first gameplay footage from Horizon Forbidden West running on PlayStation 5. We hope you are as excited about it as we are. Yes! Oh, let's talk about it, motherfucker. Let's go. While we have you here. We would like to spotlight some of the new elements you have just seen in our gameplay capture. I didn't beat the first one, though. That, please welcome Ben McCaw, narrative director on Horizon Oh, I love West. it. Give us all the deets of how this Thanks shit is happening. And hello to all our viewers. Horizon Forbidden West is set a thousand years in Earth's future after a global catastrophe. People live on in primitive tribes, but they're no longer the dominant species. Giant, animal-like machines now roam the land, and they are extremely dangerous. The machines aren't the only threat in the Forbidden West. A strange red blight is spreading across the land, and it won't be long before it strangles all life. Aloy, our hero, is the only one who can stop the blight. What if these are being rendered in-game? I don't she think they are. She and her companions are. will have to comb through the ruins of the old world to find the technology they need. Damn, that's some, in this quest, that's some Uncharted Aloy vibes right there. her loyal friend, Erend, into the remains of San Francisco to find a crucial piece of technology. Erend encounters raiders from a rebel faction of the Tanakh tribe. They are vicious fighters, but even worse, they've acquired the power to override machines. To rescue Erend, Aloy winds up fighting them. But first, she must cross the ruins to reach their camp. We face a lot of obstacles as we traverse the ruins of San Francisco. To overcome them, we've given Aloy some great new tools. Using the focus scanner, you can highlight spots that allow free climbing anywhere in the open world. The pull caster speeds up climbing. The traversal stuff is pretty trouble. dang welcome. This looks great. The shield wing allows you to safely descend from great heights or surprise enemies from above. That stuff looks awesome. With the diving mask, you can stay so Once again, as yeah, make, you make your sort of basic combat in a game more engaging by adding machines. a grappling hook. It really worked for Uncharted 4. Parts. And to speed up overland travel, a variety of machines can be overridden and used as mounts or in combat. Combat in Horizon from Middle West. Yeah, and Monster Hunter. Very true. Tactics and player choice. For close range combat, the spear is an excellent option. There's a range of combos that have different uses and effects. Valor Surges add a unique set of special abilities, one of which can be used to knock. <laughs> I love that. Enemies. Holy crap, dude. The spear can be charged. To <laughs> I love right that she has an install that can super down animation. Down enemies. A wide array of different weapons is quickly accessible via the weapon wheel. A slingshot with adhesive grenades to temporarily stall machines. This looks cool. Bows with arrows that can strip armor and expose weak spots. A powerful launcher that fires spikes that explode on impact. Smoke bombs to temporarily blind enemies. Or you can pick up weapons shot off from machines. The full game has many more unique weapons, and each of them can be upgraded on a workbench. But more on that another time. That looks, that looks ridiculous. The player will need to be smart and creative and use all of the combat options we have shown to deal with a large variety of deadly machines. Sun wings in the sky, claw striders and tremor tusks on land, step moss in the water, even the seemingly harmless burrowers that you saw briefly swim by. They are all dangerous and even more so when overridden by human rebels. We've only scratched the surface of the rebel threat as Aloy will fight them in many forms throughout the game. And to defeat them, she must explore the open world to uncover the secret behind their power, and how that secret is related to her quest to stop the blight. And this is just one of the mysteries oh, I want to hear technical unravel, stuff, man. As her journey through the Forbidden West takes many twists and turns. 
it's time to wrap it up. Damn it. We will have more updates close to launch, and everyone here at Gorilla can't wait for you to experience the full game. Thank you for watching. Dang, no release date, no nothing. Just a tiny sneak peek, you know? Just like a little sneak peek at what the game actually is and how it runs. Maybe we'll get some more stuff at E3, but they did show quite a bit of gameplay, right? They showed like a focused, a very focused gameplay session, but I would very much like to hear some more details. I hope, I, I hope I love it, dude. I, I want to play it when it comes out, but no guarantees that I'm going to fall in love with it, you know, in the same way I fall in love with uh, like Spider-Man and Ghost of Tsushima.